Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing whether or not the 2022 and 2023, the 2022 Plus Subaru WRX is the best sports car for a family-oriented car enthusiast. Now, you might be like, this is a ridiculous video concept. It's something that I did with the last two WRXs that I had and uh, you know, a question that I explored on a video because you know, although some of us buy these cars because they're fun sports cars that we can modify, for the most part, a big chunk of the population driving these cars are either driving these cars for some practicality reason, having all wheel drive. That went into the thought of my first WRX purchase because I live in Boston. But more importantly, they might need a four door sedan because they have a family. That is a reality of what, why a lot of people buy these cars. So I wanted to encourage you before you leave this video, it is gonna be an interesting video. And if you don't have a family, stick through it. Might have some interesting things to say. I also want to apologize. There is more BB content coming out on this channel. We are slowing down for just a second. I'm waiting for a new microphone to come in because if you can't tell in this video already, my microphone is not being used because it is broken. So videos are ramping up imminently. I'm just waiting for this stupid thing to come in. Supply chains are absolutely wild. So. I'm hoping to fix that, you know, it should be a couple days. If you're not familiar with the VB WRX that I'm currently in, it's my red 2022 WRX that I just bought recently. I will roll the intro now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I certainly am actually pretty anxious to film the next piece of B-roll when I get some modifications on this car because while this car looks good stock, it does not look as good as these things do modify. So this video is basically going to address everyone that owns a WRX that wants to keep one long term. I'm going to give you some reasons here. It's also going to address everyone that's thinking about buying one of these cars but aren't sure because you have a family and you think that because you have a family and you need to make the next step in your life that you might have to put down the idea of owning something that's sporty and fun. I'm also just going to address too, because I think that's probably why you're here, is this the best sports car? And maybe that's the most important thing to say. Is this the best sports car for a family? And maybe I'll address the latter first. So is the 2022 WRX the best sports car, the best option for a sporty, modifiable car that you can get moving pretty quick for somebody that has a family or needs to make a practical step in their life when it comes to cars? And I can unequivocally, as somebody that has been in and around lots of vehicles, say that it probably is. There is only one car that I think that stacks up against this car, and I say that for a couple reasons. I can unequivocally say it can, it is, because of two things. One, it's an incredible vehicle, and I think we all can acknowledge that. But what it really drives home is it's an incredible vehicle for an incredible price point, which also gives you a lot of room to enjoy some of the modification aspects and other aspects of what makes owning a sports car fun. And you're not gonna break the bank because you're so cognizant of having a family or you've got something else that's cognizantly driving you that way. You're not gonna be driving a $75,000 car in the snow if you're always in the snow. That's just a reality. Maybe you have enough money to do, but most of us don't have that kind of risk tolerance. So. This car, the only other car that it stacks up to is an Audi S3, which I, th I will acknowledge because a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, hang on, and that's a really expensive car. I agree, but with the cost of STIs right now, I think the Audi S3 is a competitor. All wheel drive, much faster out of the gate, less modification, but has a lot of nice features in it. It is a smaller car, might look the same, but the S3 and the RS3, RS3 is untouchable, right? They're not even in the same comparison class, and it's much more expensive. But the S3 is significantly tighter on the interior. I mean, it's significantly tighter. Also doesn't come in a manual, only comes in a DSG. You could also opt for the Golf R, which would be the, it's the same exact car with a different body, essentially. You could get a manual with that. But 
I'd say the WRX is still honestly a better option because you have a bigger aftermarket, there's more that you can change with the car, and from a, like a reward standpoint, you can do more with this car, you can differentiate it, there's more projects that you can do with it, and ultimately, you can make as much power if you wanted to, and your dollar cost to making that power is gonna be very similar. You're gonna lose on the top end, you're gonna lose out of the gate uh, when comparing, comparing it to that, but for the most part, this car, it is the best car for a family, and we're gonna get into why. The WRX offers some things that no other sports car in its class offers, and we can get deep, and I know that there's gonna be a lot of hate haters here, but if you look at things like the Civic Type R, I mean, the Civic Si, I don't even think it hits that thing, but the, the Civic Type R, the Mustang, the Camaro, I mean, anything that's front wheel drive and anything that's rear wheel drive, right off the bat, the WRX delivers all wheel drive, and not just all wheel drive, but the best, one of the best, but I'll go for it and say it, the best all wheel drive system that you can purchase on the market right now. That's one piece of practicality. It does really well in the snow because of that. Next, we've already talked about affordability, but gas mileage. Now, a few of these other sports cars do make get a better gas mileage, but we're talking single digits and change, obviously we are. Another big aspect is comfort and having four doors. There aren't a lot of sports cars on the market with four doors with the capabilities of what the WRX can deliver at this price point. I think that's very important to acknowledge. And I think, you know, as you're looking at the market and you're looking at cars that are available as four doors go as well, this is a very comfortable car. Like, I mean, the Civic Type R, four doors, but it's front wheel drive. And when you actually get into that car, not the most comfortable car to be in. You know, I've, I've spent a lot of time in that, that generation Civic and it's just, they're not, they're not bad, they're just not as comfortable as this car, for sure. I think one of the downsides to this car that has been semi-corrected is the interior luxury aspect, where some of the other cars have a little bit more emphasis on that. But in reality, the BBWX is greatly improved, especially if you go with a limited model. But even the base, you know, it's a comfortable car. It's by far the most luxurious car I have ever owned, and they've really taken a step in refinement. So if those are things that you're looking for, really important. I think the clear winner for reasons why this makes this car the best family car is as you think about giving up something that you may have loved in the past, because that seems to be the situation that a lot of people are in when they're considering like the family car. And again, I say that as a broad term of like, just making, you know, we're calling the family car, the car that you have to make a step to because you're leaving something for a reason. You're leaving the sports car platform because there is something that's keeping you from being able to have one, whether it's real wheel drive, a change in location, having four doors, whatever. The WRX solves it. And I think the biggest leader to that is the aftermarket. I think I, it's pretty, I mean, I can probably say that the VA WRX, and we, we got a VB here, but the VA WRX and the VB soon to be will have the largest aftermarket platforms out of potentially any vehicle and manufacturer ever in existence. You can pretty much, especially the VA, build one from the ground up all with aftermarket parts. That is soon gonna be the case with the VB. We're already going in that direction. And what that really adds is it adds a level of thrill that you're gonna get and something that uh, is gonna basically quell the feeling of, I'm not modifying a car, I'm not driving a sports car, I'm not doing any of those things. You get to have so much freedom of customization, making it your own, doing all these fun things that make this car so unique and so fun to drive and you can change the power and you can change the comfort and you can make it a track car and you can do all these things and you could always revert back to a situation where you're driving a four-door all-wheel drive car that you could throw kids in the back drive in the snow with no worries great safety all of those things so yes this isn't gonna be a very long video but it is a video that I think is very important for the few people that do look for this kind of content because there are people on the fence. They're sitting here and looking at, looking at themselves and saying like, is this the right move for me? Does this fit what I'm looking for? And is this gonna give me the thrill that I want and make it so I'm not giving up a dream? And the answer is yes. And I think it just comes down to the VBWX and the VAWX, wonderful cars. I said the same thing with the VA. I think the VA had a little bit more competition in uh, in this like, let's say in this class because I think the VA lacked a level of luxury and comfort that the VB now has delivered on and I, I don't think that's important but when you're thinking about like you know making a stage out of driving you know your clapped out hondas and doing what sports cars meant for some people at some points in their lives they're looking for things like comfort infotainment comfortable seats refined interior and the va struggled a little bit with that just for that category of people that were looking for it and i think the vb 
answer those answers those problems. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this one wasn't too boring. Um, we've got some modification content coming up shortly. Again, dealing with uh, supply chain, time waiting for modifications. My exhaust for this car is like, I think it's like three months out. So um, it will be interesting to see uh, what the modification journey looks like for this car. I know a lot of other people out there making VB content are just throwing what's available on the market on their car. I think what's going to end up happening is they are going to feel like they've been forced into certain things. I know even the people that are modified, like they're doing things like making their own exhaust, which is great, but it's really not what I want to do for this car because I want to build a refined car. And um, yeah, so we got a lot coming to this car. Again, we're going to be doing everything. There's nothing that's going to be untouched. I will be honest that engine and tuning will be the last thing I get to because I want to do a full exterior build, but it's going to happen quickly. I mean, by the end of the summer, going into the fall, the exterior will be very close to be done unless we have a massive problem in supply chain, but that's my target of like having everything done and we're going to be doing a lot. So hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you have a great rest of the day and we're getting back to two a week. So uh, I'll see you very shortly.